Well, let's go over what I would pick. Starting off with the combine, I would go with this uh, Gleaner R50. Uh, looks like they've spent some money on it in the past few years. I could go either way, and hopefully I would lean towards they won't need much more money to run for a couple good years. Uh, yeah, 3,500 hours. It comes with a grain platform. No corn head, so if we wanted to plant corn, I would go with uh, just the simple six row. Nothing... Uh, Nothing too special there. Uh, let's move on to the tractors. I like cheap horsepower. You can do uh, a lot of things with a big tractor. Even if you have a little implement, you might look goofy, but it's easier than and possible compared to what you wouldn't be able to do with a small tractor. So I would choose this uh, Messy Ferguson 1505. Uh, seems like it's a pretty good deal. Uh, <clears throat> obviously it offered less because I like to negotiate, but 4,500 actual hours. It had a uh, crate engine put in it 1,500 hours ago, so at 3,000 hours. Uh, looks like it was used in the past year, so I'll take that as a good sign. Uh, secondary tractor, I would use or choose the 4520 John Deere. Uh, comparatively easy to work on. Has a bit more hours than I would like, but uh, you know, like I said, dependable. Uh, could possibly do uh, some tillage work if need be, so seems reasonable. Uh, sunflower disc, uh, bearings are supposedly in good shape. You'd have to check it over, but it seems like a pretty good deal for 2500 Uh I like this Bush Hog 9 Shank Chisel Plow. Yeah, it looks like the hair is in good shape too. Uh, so that's what I do for the two tillage tools. Uh, on to uh, planting or drilling, whichever you would do. Uh, this white 5100 six row planter seems like a steal of a deal. Uh, I'm sure it went quick, but uh, yeah, good deal. Uh, definitely worth 1700 uh, My family had one of these Great Plains 30 foot drills growing up. So uh, I'd like to reminisce and say that that's a good deal at $800, because I imagine you could scrap it for nearly that price. Uh, and last but not least, it's cool to have a grain cart. I like grain carts. This one's a little rough, so I think you could get a good deal. I think it's probably been stored outside, which is why it's rough, and theoretically, hopefully, it's not in any worse mechanical condition than uh, any other one. So there's what I would choose for the $30,000. I would hire out the spraying to the local co-op, preferably where you buy your sprayer fertilizer from. Uh, let me know what you guys would do. Uh, thought about, you know, if you were starting out, you could theoretically hire out your harvesting to a custom harvester or a neighbor that has too much combine for the land. Seems like there's always one of those and would love to make a few extra bucks on the side. But, uh, yeah, what would you guys do? That is what I would do.